I'm really excited right now about our future and I'm really excited about what's happening in Appalachia because, you know, the, the EPA of, of the past is not the EPA of today and the new administration says that they would base their decisions on sound science. My own personal mission for the past 10 years is to bring the extraction end of coal into the conversation about global climate change because I think the destruction of over 1.2 million acres of some of the most diverse hardwood forests in the world has to play a large role in, in global climate change. You know, and here in Kentucky, we're dealing with 600,000 acres of some of the most diverse hardwood forests in the world reduced to rubble and planted with, with foreign grasses. And so as we, as we talk about global climate change, I've always felt like anytime there was a, a conference or anything about climate change, I always wanted to be there and talk about extraction because I think that is a part of the conversation that's always left out. And right now, I think that we're making those links between what is extraction? Uh, the actual uh, getting the coal out of the mountains. And used to they would go inside the mountains and dig the coal out. Now they take the mountains off the coal. And when I talk about 600,000 acres in Kentucky, that means they have taken everything off of those mountains and scraped all the plants and, and trees off of it. And most of the time, they even pile up the trees and burn them. They don't even take time to harvest them. And, and then they'll they'll blow up the mountain to the thin seam of coal and then they'll take the coal and then they'll go down another layer and sometimes they'll go down uh, two or three layers getting anywhere from 12 to 18 inches uh, thick seam of coal which you know I think what's on top of that mountain is more important than that short-term use of and greed of those small seams of coal that they're getting from mountaintop removal so I think that we've really awakened America and and they've realized that you know, the Appalachian Mountains are important and the Appalachian people are important and um, they're waking up to help us because the help isn't coming from inside because unfortunately our politicians are bought and paid for by the coal industry and um, we need help from outside and, and, and to make that connection between, between the extraction, the transporting, the burning and then what to do with the waste because it's an entire cycle. And you know, people will like to call it the, the life cycle of coal, and I, I consider it the death march of coal, because from its very beginning to its end, brings death uh, to the people that, that have to live by it and be its neighbors. Mm -hmm. So now there is hope, and we need everyone, everyone to be hopeful and helpful, and, and remember to be a part of democracy and, and vote. I'm Terry Blanton, raise your voice.